what's going on. Haven't vlogged in a while, and there's a reason for that. August was really rough for me, really rough. So I tried, I was trying to do at least a vlog a month. It was hard. Um, August just got really intense really fast for me. So what happened? First of all, I was coming at the end of a deficit in my calories and um, I was at around 1600 cows for about eight weeks and I was really low carb at that time. I was having those heart issues at that time and um, at the end of those eight weeks, I was really stressed out, really stressed out. And that was like right at the beginning of August. And my body was stressed, my mind was stressed, I couldn't focus. Um, I found that I was doing a lot of like trying to get dopamine in my body by like I was like scanning pictures for like Halloween all the time, scanning my socials all the time. So my, my emotions or my happiness was coming from an outside source, not an inside source basically. I was looking for that feeling of happiness um, really hardcore and then the next day I'd feel really really low and it was just up and down up and down I mean I was kind of at the point where I was either crazy buying shit I shouldn't buy kind of thing like to try and get the dopamine going um, is it dopamine I don't know whatever makes you happy um, I was doing a lot of projects at home um, to make me feel accomplished or like doing something always moving kind of thing um, it was just like I was going crazy. Like I was very OCD at times. Like if something wasn't done right, I'd get frustrated and kind of grumpy and angry about it. Um, there was just a lot, there was just a lot. And um, at the end of that cut, I guess you could say, um, my blood, fasted blood glucose was really high. Um, my coach, was like okay we're gonna take you completely off exercising so mind you I was exercising five days a week I was probably getting at 11k steps a day and then I was also doing cardio on top of that so it was a lot of stress in my body and I was also doing pull so um, I went from doing all of that to doing none of that none only my steps I think was the only thing I was allowed to do for two weeks and in those two weeks my calories went from 1600 to like 2100 there was no in between it was 1600 one day and then the next day okay we're getting you out of this we're getting you out of this and we are going to 2100 calories um that fucked with my mind a lot um and of course when you increase your calories you're going to gain some weight it's just how it goes but it really fucked with my mind we didn't um reverse diet and i didn't my thing is my problem is i'm trusting of my coach but at the same time in the back of my head I'm thinking, I don't know about this. And I should have voiced my opinion, but I didn't. So that also contributed to my craziness, like me just being depressed about it, because then I was at this great weight where I wanted to be, and then we're gonna yank you out of that deficit, and you're gonna gain weight again. So basically I gained all my weight back in two to three weeks after that eight week cut. So um, I kind of, it just made me, you know, realize that I know my body more than other people do and or that anyone can help me with basically and I need to learn how to trust myself and do this for myself and not for anything else. So, um, yeah, um, I used, I noticed that I used exercise as a way of therapy for me and so not being able to exercise at all was really hard on me too. Um, that also contributed to me looking for that dopamine like constantly. Um, yeah, so the two weeks I didn't do any exercise or whatever, and then we got to two days a week I could do exercise. And then I was like, okay, I'm kind of done with your coaching, like no, you know, no big deal, but like also with money, like coaching is expensive, and I just realized that it's more, I know myself better kind of thing. Um, he did help me a lot with my digestion. My digestion has gotten back on track, FYI. I'm great now, digestive-wise. It's still a little iffy every now and then, but I know what to do to take care of it, so I learned a lot from that. Um, and I learned that I can eat more and lose weight too, which is awesome, which is what everyone wants, right? Um, the only thing is, um, towards the end, it was just a little crazy. So, um, yeah, when I was stressed out, I felt, 
Like I couldn't function. I felt alone. I felt depressed. Like my husband was home. He was with me, but like I just felt like I needed him a lot. Like he went off for a weekend and I lost it. Like I missed him so much and I just like I think I was using him as a support therapy. I don't know. Just him being around. It didn't have to actually be anything, but it was insane. Um, I couldn't sleep. My sleep was really bad. Um, I would I'd fall asleep okay, but it's because I was taking all these kind of things to make me fall asleep. But the problem is I would wake up around 2 a.m. with like a song stuck in my head or like a buzzing in my head. I just couldn't go back to sleep. So um, if you're in a deficit and you can't sleep, it's probably time for you to start getting out of that deficit and starting to focus on getting back to maintenance is what my general thing is. Like learn how to learn to listen to yourself. Notice your sleeping patterns is so important. Um, and yeah, I'm just talking about what I've learned pretty much. What was help helping me get out of getting out of um, that funk that I was in in August um, was really just focusing on each day, um, focusing on what I could do. So like everything is either half empty or half full, right? Focus on the positives. Um, I was like, hey, I get to be blessed with these two days a week to work out kind of thing. And so that's kind of what I was changing my mindset for. Your mindset is a big big thing and I know I can't just say change your mindset because it is something that you have to intentionally focus on so I don't know how to share that with you or how to do that for you but it's just something that has to change on your own and on your own terms but um, I focused on meditation I focused on crossing out the days every day of the week that really seemed to help me for some reason I guess it was because another day is down and we are going on to the next day and we're just passing through the days kind of thing um, to get through those days. It was helping me. I don't know. Maybe that'll help y'all, but that's what was going on. Uh, I also didn't mention that at the time my work changed, my boss changed, my workload changed, and it got really chaotic for a while and that also added stress to that whole crazy situation. So there was a lot of external stress factors that was going on all at once in August. So I'm just glad we're out of August. It was bad for me, like bad. I went to the doctor. I talked to her about what's going on. She got me on anxiety pills, which I think I probably should have been on for a long time now, but anyway. Um, so I am on Lexapro, and I just think it's important to be open and honest with you guys about what's going on, if you care. I don't know, this is just my life update, whatever. So Lexapro was what she put me on. Um, what I noticed the first night, the first week, diarrhea bad and I was taking a half dose of my normal dose to like get myself into it she told me it'll take about six weeks for it to fully set in so I'm not expecting anything magical to happen I'm just hoping stuff balances out basically she told me pretty much that I can probably be on this for about a year and then I'll probably won't need it anymore which is hope what I'm hoping for um, I'm not the type of person who wants to be on any kind of medication at all when I like naturally take care of things but I think when you come to a point where you're everything is just too much to handle um, that's when you need to see your doctor and tell them what's going on and figure out what's going on with you so I think I have like an anxiety anxiety driven depression was what I was going through but um, that's what she told me um, but yeah so she got me on that um, I had half dose the first week really bad diarrhea the first night pretty much diarrhea the rest of the night Penny's outside barking sorry um, this is week two now of normal dose and we're doing better now so um diarrhea has gone away so if you want any of y'all have that going on with your life there you go um i take it before bed um concerns i have about it is my doctor said people have gained weight on it but she says that since i monitor my calories and stuff i should be fine um low libido kind of thing but the thing is I already have a low libido so it's not gonna really matter yeah. so um, and just it may, it's supposed to make people sleepy or drowsy but I take it before bed and so I think that also helps I don't know but um, right now it's September was better um, September I had more plans and more things to do and I think that helps August I had no plans no one does any plans in August and I think that also made me sad but um, September was good we had plans every weekend almost one weekend we didn't do anything, but it's just good to have stuff going on. Um, 
last vlog I think was Jessica's birthday. I just had some clips in there for you guys, but that was Jessica's birthday adventure and it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so now we're in October. Um, I'm feeling better. I'm not 100%, but I am a lot better than I was in August. It was a horrible month for me. But I'm back now and I'm thinking about getting back into the process of everything and I'm hoping that we'll be good from now on. So I think it's like November is when I'm on my six week mark or late October of this medicine. So I'll try and keep you up to date on that of what's going on, what I've noticed about my anxiety symptoms and stuff like that, if you care. That's what all has been going on. Um, and now it's October. So um, we're gonna do some Wagaween. We're gonna do some TRF stuff, some TRF prep in this vlog. And um, after that, we're gonna um, take y'all to the Ren Fest. TRF is the Texas Renaissance Festival, by the way. So, um, so next weekend is the Texas Renaissance Festival starts it's every weekend october november every weekend even on thanksgiving weekend so um really exciting and fun and i can't wait to go um starts this weekend and so today i am just going to like pretty much go through all my camping stuff and organize it clean it out because it's been a year since i've camped kind of thing get everything organized and get it all packed and ready so i don't have to worry about it during the week so that's what we're doing today Let's get going. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick little review of stuff in my tote for camping at the Renton Fair. Um, first of all, is just this spare blanket. I normally will put that on cold days. I'll put it under my mattress to kind of prevent ground cold. It's made my bed even warmer than it is, basically. Um, I have a toilet seat cover. And what this is, is my little own mini, and I was wiping it down, so it's a little wet right now, but it's my own little mini toilet and what I do is I put this normally there's not a sleeping bag in there <laughs> but I will put this normal white bucket and put a um, trash bag in there and then put some kitty litter in there and then basically I just pee in there I am a peeing person but yeah the lid goes on like that and you have your own little I can't lift it right now but your own little toilet seat it's helpful for whenever you're drunk and you get out of the bathroom a lot so that's that um, here's my tent here's my tarp that goes under the tent uh, I have an extra like hammock and I always wanted to use this but I haven't and we're gonna see how this goes I don't know um, I have hammer really rusty hammer and scissors and a little dustpan for whenever I'm done camping. So I kind of cleaned this out and put everything back in there, mostly organized. I know what's in this tote. Um, I'll probably put my sleeping bags in there too. Um, and this tote is kitty litter. This is almost out of litter, so I'm just gonna refill this from that bag that I just bought. Um, extra bowls in case we need bowls. Normally what I do when I eat is I just bring a lunch bowl or something. I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to food. Um, batteries. I have lots of batteries. I have these big ones. I have double A just bought. I have for an air pump and an extra air mattress in the event that something goes wrong or somebody needs a bed. Um, these are just extra lights for setting up at camp. I've got bug spray, full bags for the potty, um, just lotion and SPF. And that is in this, this little tote. Then, Recently, today, I had to buy a new lantern. So we're gonna try this guy out. I have no idea if it's gonna work or if it's gonna suck, but it looked cool. It's a Bluetooth speaker and lantern. So maybe we'll do a review on it later and let you know at the end of the season if it's worth the shit or not. You're welcome. Um, so I had to go to the store and get some stuff. Normally this does not happen, but I'm basically all my stuff is broken or needs to be replaced. So I just figured why not now? Um, this I found just on the side of the aisle. I thought it was perfect. It's a light, um, and it's a carabiner light. So you can recharge it, and it has a power bank, and apparently this also has a power bank. So uh, two little mini power banks. I thought this was really cool because it's got a carabiner. Apparently my video is too much, so I'm on iPhone now. But I also got 
the headlamp. All my headlamps are broken, dead. So I just bought a basic bitch headlamp. We'll see how long it lasts. If y'all know any like sturdy, reliable headlamps that don't suck and last more than a year, please let me know. I got some really hard on these. Um, toothpaste, Pepto, travel size, stuff I needed to recharge on. Face stuff uh, for women, this is what you need. Um, batteries, more batteries, more batteries, face wipes. I noticed that I am not very good at cleansing my face when I go camping, so I'm trying to get on top of that this year. Um, toothbrushes, my camping toothbrush, I normally will re redo them every once a year. Potty wipes. And I think that's it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try these out this season to see if they actually work or not. They're supposed to be like a custom fit foot insole thing. So I'm gonna slip these in my boots and we'll see. But yeah, that is my camping preparation for you guys. So all this stuff will go in my, my packing, my camp stuff, and um, yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna start charging these guys up and we'll see how they do the whole Bluetooth and all that. So. We continued.